Welcome to my introduction of Cat Commander. Cat Commander is a powerful tool, if you are working with templates in Katia. There exists two important component selections and commands. You can define your own selections and save these as templates. Typical predefined selections are to select all parts and products in Katia or select only items. If you like, these selections can be stored in a script file. If you need this selection again, you only have to execute the stored script files. Let me continue with the second step. After the definition of the selection, you must choose the command you want to perform. Cat Commander has a lot of commands. Like add, clean, delete, format, inherit, write output files, remember informations, rename parts or products, translate, and templates. Now I want you to explain the command add in my first example. First of all we have to scan the active product in Katia. As a result, we get the list of products and parts in Cat Commander. In this example I want to add the property to all parts and products. We need an object called property. Now we must define the name and the value of the property. In this example I want to add a user-defined property with the name CAD part and the value project. We are ready to execute the command and starting the execution. The status of all elements is OK if the part or product is an instance, then we get the status, that's OK too. That's all, very easy and very fast, fascinated. I want to show you another example add. In this example, I want to add the value 12345 to the user-defined property CAD part which we have just created. At the end of the process, the value of the property CAD part will be the string project 12345. That's all, very easy and very fast. In my next example, I will show you how you can add an access systems to your parts. We have to start a selection. In this example I want only select parts, and my second condition is that the part number of the parts should start with the letter Z. There exists a predefined selection. After the selection we choose the command add with function access system. Now you can see, there exists a new access system called CNC. We can repeat these steps to create a body called NC stock. Our last add command is to change the revision. In my demonstration, I want to set the string project ABC to the property revision. Now I want to explain the clean command. First of all I want to clean the revision we have created just before. The steps are identical. Start a selection and after this choose the command clean with the function revision. The content of the revision will be cleaned. In difference to the clean command, the delete command will delete user-defined properties, bodies, access systems, and so on. Let me show you an example. I want to delete the relations in parts and products. First of all, I have to define the selection for parts and products. After that I must start the command delete with function relation. After this, I want to delete all constraints. It's always the same, define a selection, and execute the command you want to use. We can do the same with the CNC access systems we have created in the examples before
and also with empty bodies. Format command. In this example I want to hide or show parts and products. To do this, we must first define the selection, which parts or products we want to hide, and after this we must execute the command format with function hide. It is identical with show or transparency. Inherit command. We have following situation. There exists a left part and we have a symmetrical right part. The right part was created in the assembly workbench by the symmetry command. First of all I have to start the selection of the right parts. The search key for the selection is symmetry off. After selection we have to start the command inherit with subroutine property. Cat commander copies all user defined properties from the left parts to the right parts. Output command. By this command, different reports of informations from our parts and products can be created and exported to a simple text file or Excel. In my example, I want to generate a list with all part numbers in the first column and a user defined property called part ID in the second column. To do this, I must first of all execute the selection, and after this step, one must execute the command output with the function list part number. Now I want to add in the second column the property called part ID after we have created the list. We can select these columns and export it to Excel for example by copy and paste. Remember command. The purpose of the remember command is to store same informations into user defined properties of our parts and products. At the beginning we start with the Excel list we have created just before. In the first column there is the part number and in the second column we have values for the user defined property called parted. Now I key in new values for parted and store this Excel table in the CSV format. To transfer the informations to the property parted we have to start the command remember with function property. We have to key in the name of the parameter and to define the column with the values. This is in our case the number 2. After that we can execute the command and check the result. Rename command. If you work with different languages in your company, you will get the effect that, for example, the name of your main body is displayed in the specific language. In my example, I want to change the name Hauptkörper to main body. The command we need is called rename with subroutine main body. Change word command. The last example I want to show you is to make a translation of substrings of the part number from German to English. My dictionary is an Excel table. In the first column on the left side we can find the search key, in my case the German word, and the next columns is the translated word in English and some other languages. After the selection I have to start the command change word with the subroutine part number. This means cat commander searches in the part number to the German word in the defined list and it will replace this word with the corresponding word in English. We have to define in the option the column for the English word and the path to the dictionary. In my examples, you have seen an easy way to modify existing products and parts. If you combine selections and commands to add script then you will get a fast tool to transform your constructions to your customer needs. And the easiest way to do this is cat commander. Now my first explanation of cat commander is finished. You can visit us at our homepage cadpart.com and download a free trial version of cat commander.